What is up YouTube and welcome to another Crib Zone Excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. It's about to be real wet. <laughs> Moving tanks, Hanzo. Oh, he's so soft. So squishy. Oh, he's on there good now. Yeah. I'm all warm and stuff. He's just chilling. Look how crazy his eyes look. You probably can't see his eyes. Oh. I had a video game taped to the bottom because there wasn't enough heat. This is a 20 gallon tank. You could use a 10 gallon tank for one leopard gecko, maybe two. That is good enough. You could either have two female leopard geckos living together or a male and a female. Two males will not get along. I kind of want to get the homie Hanzo a female. This is a video for anyone that enjoys leopard geckos and would like to know how I set up my tank. This is the first leopard gecko I've ever owned. His name's Hanzo. There's a lot of people asking, what's your fifth animal? The first step on building a cage will be the tank. This here is a 20 gallon tank. The one he's currently on is a 10 gallon tank. This is the brick we're loading up. This is the bedding we're gonna be using. It's known as Eco Earth, it's coconut fiber. Sand is bad for a leopard gecko. This is completely edible for your leopard gecko. This is pretty much everything you will need. This is all the basic materials you need in order to own a leopard gecko. Now the heat mat is under here. This is the heat mat right here. Leopard geckos do require heat from their belly. A UV light won't help your leopard gecko at all. You need two hides. One hide should have holes in it, while the other hide should just be a cave. The whole one should be on the hot side, whereas the cave is the moist side. The leopard geckos need two sets of environment in order to survive. They need heat and they need water. In order to maintain a leopard gecko, you will need the tank, two hides, a water bowl, a calcium dish. This is just to check the humidity and the temperature, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't even work. Accessories, if you would like, just to make the tank look nice. You could have a food dish as well for mealworms, which is what I feed my leopard gecko. Or you could just have crickets and just let them run. It's normal for your leopard gecko not to come out when you first buy them for about a month or so. Allow them to stay in their tank. Don't disturb them. Let them get accustomed to their new house. The first step will be to create your bedding. Let's get a huge bowl. Place brick in a pan, bucket of sink. I know some of you guys were wondering, what's your fifth animal, KZE? You have five animals. It's the homie Hanzo. Oh yeah. Water. Let that sit for about 20 minutes. This is the final setup right here. Here you see the calcium bowl the water bowl. Your leopard gecko needs two sets of environments. It needs a hot side, which is this side right here, because the heat mat's under it, and needs a humid side, which is this side right here. You need to keep the substrate nice and moist, just like my ex. You'll just have to spray the substrate. Once a day should be fine just to keep it nice and moist. Reason why you do that is to help your leopard gecko for when he does need to shed. Now this Eco Earth is really good at keeping water in. How hot should the hot side be? It should be in the 90s, so 90 degrees Fahrenheit. This is 92. Since these dudes are nocturnal, which means they come out at night, only doing this for video purposes, try not to handle your leopard gecko during the daytime. At this time, they will most likely be asleep. Let's go ahead and get them out and show them to you guys. If you guys are planning to get a leopard gecko, Don't handle them for the first month or so. Let them get accustomed to their new habitat. Look at him backing it up. After your leopard gecko's been in his tank for one month, the next step you will need to do in order to tame your leopard gecko, remove both of their hides and anything where they can hide. 
put your hand inside of the tank. That's it. Don't move your hand, don't do anything, just keep your hand in the tank. You wanna do this for about one week, every day for 10 minutes. You don't wanna overpressure your leopard gecko. So 10 minutes for one day. After you've done that for one week, your leopard gecko should be pretty used to your hand. You also wanna to talk to them while you're doing this. After you've done this for 10 minutes every session, the next step you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to move your fingers and your hand in natural motions, just so your leopard gecko could get used to your hand moving around. Come on, Hanzo. Let's try and pick him up. Here's Hanzo himself. He's probably two years now. I got him when he was around one year and three months. Since these dudes are nocturnal, they're not gonna be active during the daytime. So it's completely normal for them to be away. Possibly not even see your leopard gecko. After your gecko is accustomed to you, he will come out when he hears you. After he gets accustomed to you, he will come out. The leopard gecko is by far the easiest lizard you can own, making it one of the best beginner lizards there are. These dudes could go a really long time without eating anything, and that's because of their fat inside of their tail. Hanzo has a pretty skinny tail. He's had it pretty skinny since I first got him. If I was to go without feeding him, he would absorb all the fat from his tail in order to stay alive. I think the leopard gecko is absolutely the most adorable thing there is. Pretty big reason why I got him. They're just freaking smiling all the time. It's so cute. Can you guys see his little smile? Fuck child support. Let's go over what you guys need. Need the substrate. You need two hides. You need a water dish. You need a heat mat with an open hide that has a couple exits. You need a humid side where the hide is a cave. The last thing you will need, of course, the food. These dudes can eat a couple different variations of insects. If you have a problem with live insects, this might not be the lizard for you. Snakes are a really good example of a reptile doesn't need live food. You could always feed a snake frozen food. The leopard gecko has to see the, his food moving in order for him to get attention on it. They don't see height. If your leopard gecko isn't accustomed to your hands and when your hand ends, since they don't see height, they will just keep walking. If you frighten your leopard gecko and he's on top of your hand, he will fall. These dudes just really don't care about life. Keep walking until they jump off a cliff. The leopard gecko is a really good climber. Do believe it's their nails like spider lizard or something. You're like a huge walking tree that they just love to climb and tongue punch. The way a leopard gecko gets used to his surroundings is by tongue punching everything. If your leopard gecko is tongue punching you, that's completely normal. He's just getting to know you. The leopard gecko does dilate his eyes. Their eyes turn really cat-like and their eyes turn really thin. If there's no light, their eyes are gonna get much wider. When I first got him, I thought he was like legally blind. It was just the light hitting one of his eyes. Other one had no light hitting. Don't think your leopard gecko is blind. There's a really big misconception that leopard geckos can't see red light. They actually could see red light. I actually do have a red light. Yes, leopard geckos could see light. This is the first time I've actually had him. Oh, see, he's blind during the daylight. That's a really big reason why I haven't made any videos about Hanzo. He's closing his eyes. Leopard gecko is by far the easiest lizard to take care of. They feed off of mealworms, crickets, superworms, and wax worms. Here are a couple mealworms I have. These are gonna turn into larvae already. There's three stages to the mealworm. There's the mealworm itself, a cocoon type. Their final stage is being the beetle. If you guys are looking to set up your leopard gecko tank, I hope this video helped you guys. As far as the pricing of how much the setup costs, the tank itself costs around $30. The two hides, $10. The accessories, $5. Straight is $10. Your whole cage setup will cost $100. Now your leopard gecko depends where you buy them. I bought this dude off of ambergecko.com. He was $178. He turned out to be $200 with him shipped and everything. You could always buy your leopard gecko off of a pet store, much cheaper. These dudes come in a lot of color very, oh gosh. Oh. They love tight spaces, just like his papa.
I always wanted an orange leopard gecko, planning to name him Charmander. When I looked it up on Amber Gecko, this dude appeared to be much more orange. I do believe he's about to shed, which kind of dims down his color. Amber Gecko pretty much clickbait me. That's alright because this dude's freaking awesome. If you're looking to buy a leopard gecko, make sure you have $300. As far as the food, there are websites where they ship to your house. There are websites such as Rainbow Mealworms. They do ship mealworms. You could buy a thousand mealworms for around $10. Before and after you handle your leopard gecko, you always want to wash your hands. This is what I feed my leopard gecko Hanzo. This is known as a mealworm farm. I do need to sort it out and clean everything. This is where the adult mealworms go. As you can see, they're all beetles now. I'm gonna have to switch them over to the second layer right here. It does have a hole at the bottom covered in window fishing. So when the beetles do breed, the eggs fall to the bottom. The beetles have their little fun, have eggs, the eggs fall to the bottom, and that's when the new mealworms are born. They're getting pretty big. Good way to store your mealworms and stopping from growing is to put them in the fridge. This is a mealworm right here. Before you feed it to your leopard gecko, you want to make sure you feed your mealworms. What is that? actually do have some in the fridge right now. The reason why you toss them in the fridge, with colder temperatures, it slows them down, puts them into hibernation. The best mealworms for your leopard gecko to eat are the ones that are holding on. I'm gonna go ahead and just toss them in there so they won't turn into beetles. You do want to gut load your mealworms. If your mealworms have an empty stomach, it's like you're not feeding anything to your leopard gecko. Just like the leopard gecko, these are nocturnal. I went over all the basics on leopard geckos. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Peace. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZE underscore production.